Hi, everybody. It is January 12, 2018. Nasty weather in so many states. And I would not have even looked into it had I not received this comment from Mary Thompson. Flooding here, ice buildup from Russell Park to two miles away, downtown mobile gas station here in an area of New York. It's a valley. Friends downtown woke to house shaking as ice and creek was about 10 feet high. It hit her house. They evacuated Utica, Whitesboro, many neighborhoods in mud and ice. Everything closed today, expecting 1.7 inches rain at nearly 60 degrees. 60 degrees in January in New York. Then a drop tonight to below zero called a flash hard freeze. Then, if that's not bad enough, a dump of snow after flood in hard freeze. Guess it's our turn here. Get in line. Pick a number. Next. There are so many Americans around this country that get destroyed, and we don't even know about it. You know, I have heard for my entire six years on YouTube, so many people say, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Something big is going to happen. It's coming, it's coming. Something big has already happened to millions of Americans. They already have been destroyed. So that big thing that people are thinking is coming, we've had big things happening. And I guess until the big thing happens to you, you don't get that we've been at war. We already have millions of casualties. And when you are the victim of this war, that's when you get that, wow, the big thing has already happened. Now, I understand the thinking, that big thing, what is it going to be, nuclear war or or the big thing is when millions and millions and millions of people die immediately from whatever they plan on using as a weapon. It could be the boiling frog scenario taking out more and more and more Americans every single day and people just don't know that it's taking place because it's not getting any real press coverage. I wish we had citizen journalists in every community stretching from the East Coast to the West Coast, North, South. Because that is really, truly the only way that we will know what is happening in uh, areas of the country that are just not getting any kind of alternative or mainstream media press. So thank you, Mary, for leaving this comment, because I would not have researched um, what I did research, and I'll show you in a minute. This isn't telecast, okay? This is now. This is now. This is the top of the storm that is affecting so many states. Look at the ultra-low frequencies that are taking place at the top of the storm. Right? Manufactured weather, <coughs> excuse me, used as a weapon of war. Which is affecting so many people and causing an awful lot of chaos. Stretching all the way down into Mississippi, well, really stretching all the way down to <laughs> Cuba, all the way on up to Canada. You know, years ago, when I was on YouTube, like in 2011, we saw these storms that stretched from the south of the United States, all the way up north, and we were wowed by how enormous these storms were. And now it's just commonplace, right? 
this is what I recorded last night. This is Maine. Look at the deliberate manipulation of this storm. And then it just explodes. And this is Maine. The ultra low frequencies. are being used quite frequently to manipulate these storms. So, what do we got? What do we got? Wow, severe winter storm descends on upstate New York. Here's what to expect and when. The storm will be a mess, and that's for sure. Major winter storm descending upon <clears throat> upstate New York today. We've got rain here. I can't tell you how many times I have just immediately, it feels like something is being induced in me, getting sick, my throat is sore, my eyes are so dry and so, so sore, um, but I have a horrible chemical taste in my mouth. God, this, well, Buffalo, where the temperature dropped from 61 to 41 in an hour. 20 degrees in an hour, and people are just assuming that this is natural. Rains on the roads could freeze, leaving a quarter inch of ice. That will make driving and walking treacherous. This is the temperature. Temperatures will plunge 40 degrees or more. 60 degrees it will plunge in Syracuse in a few hours. And they're claiming that this is natural, or they're claiming it is. It is uh, climate change. Yes, climate change. Rain freezing on roads. Heavy snow. You're going to get heavy snow on top of, in areas, heavy rain. With these plunging temperatures, it will create an awful lot of havoc and 16 inches in western New York. Um, water rescues were reported in parts of western Pennsylvania Friday morning, according to the National Weather Service. The flooding also cut off homes in the town of um, Suikili, I don't know, as rivers and creeks rose. And to the north, some vehicles became stranded on submerged roads. Many rivers and streams to rise. Crews pumped water out of flooded homes in Pittsburgh. Wow. I didn't know that crews went into private homes to pump out water. That's unusual. Um, something they don't usually have to do in winter months. Definitely not used to it in January. Tens of thousands of homes and businesses lost power in Pennsylvania Friday. Flooding was also reported in parts of Western Virginia overnight. Flooding issues in locales like South Buffalo. 100 homes reported flooding. Sewage treatment plants in Buffalo area were overwhelmed and that forced them to discharge untreated sewage into nearby waterways. So you have untreated sewage in your waterways. Great. South Buffalo resident. The area is used to wintry precipitation in January, but flooding in the colder months is bizarre. I certainly wouldn't have expected it in January. No, because man is using weather as a weapon. Nashville bridges iced rapidly. Kentucky they uh, closed down their state offices. Schools in Indianapolis and Indiana canceled. Icy roads caused an increase in crashes Friday morning in Michigan's lower peninsula. Northeast knocked out power to a combined 40,000 homes and businesses in Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey. Travel woes in the heartland. North Dakota, a stretch of Interstate 29 from north of Fargo to the Canadian border was closed. That certainly is not unusual for that area. 
It looks like ice. I wouldn't want to go down that road driving it. Dozens of flash urban and stream flooding reports from Thursday night to Friday morning from Ohio and West Virginia to Western Pennsylvania and upstate New York. Ice jams have also been occurring. I've never heard of ice jams. What are ice jams? But I think it was underneath this article, some of the comments, a woman wrote, ice jams with a question mark. Uh, so I'm not the only one who has not heard of ice jams. Sleet and snow were reported as far north as Louisiana. Numerous vehicle accidents occurred in Kentucky. And you can read uh, all of the facts of the local areas with their ice jams creating an awful lot of havoc. 165 car crashes reported in Minnesota. 45,000 customers without power in New Jersey due to weather-related damage. Really? Well, it hasn't been so severe. So what's taking place with our utility companies that suddenly we're having power outages all over the place when we don't even have the kinds of weather events that used to create power outages, now it's rain. Ice jams occurring on Seneca River in New Jersey. Um, I'll link below to everything if you want to check it out. Oh, here's Oprah. For those who... Devastated and uh, debris everywhere. Oh, my God. So this, there used to be a fence right here. My neighbor's house. And, uh, All right. Well, uh, I know the volume was low. She's just talking about there used to be a fence here. Uh, that's my neighbor's house. I'm devastated. Um, man, devastation can come so easily to Americans who just don't have the means anymore. So, yeah, you know, I see these articles. The celebrities are commenting. I guess on Twitter and Instagram, about the mudslides in California, and it's hard to have much sympathy for Oprah. Will she be out there cleaning up the debris in her backyard? No, she'll just hire people to do it. And there are so many people who don't have the ability to hire people to clean up the mess of this man-made weather. Snow blanketed. One of the hottest places on Earth this week, the Sahara Desert. Part of Newark Airport evacuated for a transformer fire. Oh, okay. So, Newark Airport, unrelated to the weather, they had to evacuate part of a terminal on Friday, this morning, after a transformer caught fire underneath the airport which caused delays. Um, chaos is happening on a daily basis now. Americans never ever think that you will be living a life feeling a, a sense of security. And that is part of the agenda to get Americans to never ever have a sense of any kind of security. Anything can now happen. But this comes on a day when weather-related issues cause power outages for more than 45 customers, on another article, 40 here, across northern New Jersey. But the airport or utility didn't immediately comment on whether the fire was caused in part by the weather. All right, the weather um, is causing an awful lot of mess. It is messy. But since when did... Messy weather caused transformers to blow up. You're just supposed to believe the horse shit that you are fed by mainstream media, and unfortunately a lot of people do. They believe it. They just believe it. Falling ice in Manhattan onto cars. 
This is the this is the kind of ice that's falling from buildings onto cars. In well, it just happened to one car, so um, there's definitely something wrong with this picture. It's become so unbelievably obvious, and it is truly unfortunate that people are just not getting it. They're just not getting that man is controlling weather. I'll link below to all of these articles, um, but any of you who are experiencing uh, strangeness, destruction in your own communities, leave comments below people's videos. We need to know what is happening. And I don't like the fact that we have now homes flooded from this storm and so many people don't know that it is occurring. And people need to know. So, stay safe everybody. Stay safe. The storm is just going to get worse. These plunging temperatures that people think are either natural or related to climate change brings more hardship to an awful lot of people. And remember, it was only last week when we were looking at frigid, record-breaking cold. And now in areas, it's 60 degrees. It was 71, I believe, in Virginia. This is not natural. It's just not natural.